uh, this is the next event that we need to watch and strategically going where we want to go out the window uh, not much but there's definitely something over there this is a better clue it has lightning in it so we're not wanting to get anywhere near it our, uh, our, our out will be a left turn obviously uh, but we're not going to base that turn on uh, X-RAD. We're going to base it on radar. We're out to 60 miles, so that event should be coming into this area here <clears throat> kind of any minute now. But so far, no soap. That's all ground. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that might be something you know, but that's not something I know. Well, okay. Let's turn on the bearing pointer. Let's use the so slew stick here, cover that which we think is weather, or we're concerned about, like that. Go to the vertical profile. The vertical profile will tell you clearly it either has moisture in it or it doesn't. And it's because the top is either asymmetrical or it's symmetrical with the bottom. In this case, it's symmetrical with the bottom. So that's there's no water within 60 miles of our aircraft is that two eight, Mike Papa? from that direction, eight two, Mike which means oh, they had it flipped. Okay, number the eight, next two, rad, Papa, we haven't got it in view yet, so we just keep on keeping on. Center, seven, zero, five, try, like cancel, keep in mind uh, that we're actually tracking five degrees to the left of the nose of the aircraft, seven, which, seven, zero, Fox, uh, which is where the radar is pointing. And this is significantly to the right of our track, so it's uh, it's not likely we're we're going to see that. What we're learning is is that uh, in this particular case, this Dexrad is corroborating so far pretty good with a radar having to do with the little movement that it has uh, on this particular day. But as you know, uh, different systems move at different speeds. Yes, sir. everybody's complaining about the weather today. Uh, we're well. passing just Very southeast nice. of an active you. cell. Really. And uh, we've right, got we'll the distance we we'll need. We, uh, and uh, we really, looking outside doesn't help today because we're in clouds. We're watching for ice, okay. negative ice, it's a minus 30 C. So really the, uh, the strategy is to use the radar the tactical tool that we know works for these events and see where the water is. So first, let's look here. And uh, we're out at 60 miles. And uh, that's likely to be water. Let's uh, let's paint down so we get ground in here and see this. We've been watching this. It's been moving in. Let's put the bearing pointer over it. Let's go to the vertical profile and use the tactical tool. Remember for Echo Bravo, contact Ever Center 133.9 or 5. 3395 for Echo Bravo. And sure enough, this is asymmetrical top to bottom, so that is indeed water. It's 29 degrees right, and we're actually tracking 5 degrees to the left. So this is not a threat for us. There it is. Center Meridian 134, Echo Bravo, flight level 280, direct Bravo when able. Report Echo Bravo, Denver Center, Roger. All right, so we're going to make a turn toward Provo. Let's look at the map. After we get far enough past this to do that without any problem. We're picking up a little trace on the... No such thing as a little trace. Trace what? Rhyme? It's, uh, the snowy kind, the snowy kind uh, what's it called? Yeah, rhyme. Rhyme, yeah. yeah. Trace rhyme. Okay. And so let's look at the wings, see if we got anything. Nothing on the wing, but... Um, that's at 329. Like a thin line. That's yeah, so that's probably trace. The way we know it's trace or not is we, and these guys on, operate the so prop heat stall come out, surface the ice, and then look over your shoulder. And I know viewers can't see this, but you can. Go over your shoulder and see if that ice breaks. 
Off. Contact Denver Center 127.02. I, I, I see your head nodding. Is that affirmative? Affirmative, yep. The ice broke off. It did, yep. All right, so that wasn't trace. That was light. And we can say that for now because it hasn't come back. If it comes back, it's moderate. And I suspect that's because we're creeping through some moisture here. So let's keep an eye on that. And let's ask for, for now for... Uh, uh, let's see... Let's not do anything just yet. Let's uh, let the equipment do its job. And let's turn, uh, turn this in a bit, see if we could see uh, what else we might encounter. So this should be okay. Uh, another tool we can be using is uh, on the weather page, weather data link, we can turn on icing. So. American 1705, on freezing contact, level, Center one, but in the, ex two. the most expensive pa pa uh, package, the pro version, we can have icing, and we're at 280, so we'll look here, 27. Sure enough, we probably need uh, a strategic tool, but uh, we already know we're getting a little bit of ice, uh, and it's just really uh, trace to light, I would call it. All right, so uh, let's stay the course. Keep your eye outside. Keep your eye on the ice. And uh, 50 miles from now, we can probably start our turn toward Provo. And I'm making that decision based on a strategic tool here. But once we're 50 miles from where we are, we'll be past this event and be able to turn to the right. I don't know how far right we got to go, but it's it's looking like it's going to take us over Denver. I don't know how that's going to work for them, but we were we were offered that. So the reason we want it later rather than sooner is because if we wait a bit, we'll be less likely to fly over the Denver area. But we'll evaluate that as we get closer. Rochford, fly safely. Delta 785, Train off. Center 132.85.